Do you want to know how I know of Bill Burr? I know of Bill Burr from my 66-year-old father who plays him on his loud-ass Bluetooth speakers in his office with the door closed. So all I hear is a random-ass dude going, yeah! just yelling his jokes at a consistently high volume that sounds like he's yelling <laughs> all the time. But I think that's just his cadence. <laughs> I have never heard a single joke. I just hear a loud man shouting behind a closed door. So just... That's what I hear. You know what I'm saying? So I am ready to finally check out Bill Burr. I'm going to show this video to my dad. Dad, I love you. Hi. I'm finally checking out Bill Burr. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I never watched this comedy special with you. I refuse to still do it. I'm only doing this because it gets YouTube views. Okay? I don't want to listen to a full thing because if he's yelling that loud, I don't know if I can sit through a whole stand-up session with my ears still intact. But I will listen to it in segments. <laughs> so, Dad, if you're willing to do it in segments, this is my message to you because I know you're going to watch the video because I'm going to link it to you. Okay? Now, back to you, YouTube. All right, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm guads. You know what to do. I upload daily every single day here on the channel. So if you ever get bored and want to see random stuff on the internet, that's what I'm here for. I play video games. I watch random videos. I do whatever I feel like here on the channel. So stick around. Anyways, let's get into it. Code word for today, so I know you didn't skip the intro, is hi, dad. <laughs> so y'all can say hi to my dad in the comments, okay? <laughs> Let's get into it. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show. It was like a poor excuse for the view. And they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the ninth okay. millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just in case, Yeah, DV you know, is pretty bad, yeah. the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into uh -huh. the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? Yep, valid, yep, yep. It's gonna fucking rust, right? <laughs> Jesus! I do not know not to do that shit. Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Oh, now I get it, up so daisy, sweetheart, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there you go, oh. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a I beg to differ. <laughs> no, 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 hear me out. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Please, I don't want to lose my career. <laughs> what about equal rights, equal fights? Because if a bitch punches me, I'm laying her out. <laughs> All right? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I was a man and a bitch slapped me, I would definitely slap her the fuck back. <laughs> but <laughs> it might not be socially acceptable. But if you start a fight, I'm ending the fight. That's it. On business. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, my bad. What? I'll hear something. But I'm a woman, so if a woman slaps me and I slap them back, it's conventionally okay. So, haha. <laughs> woman and i was just like really i could give you like 17 right off the top of my head <laughs> you can wake me from a drunken stupor i could still give you like nine <laughs> dude there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman you just don't do it <laughs> just sit there and suggest that there's no reason <laughs> dude, the <laughs> level of ego behind that statement what are you levitating above the rest of us you're never annoying Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day! There you go! <laughs> Jesus, bitch! Settle down! You need a divorce. If you think about that every day, get a divorce. You are a problem. Crazy ass hoe. What? <laughs> what? No. Relax. That is too often. <laughs> that is too often. No. Oh. Every day. You didn't do it, right? 
Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come mm -hmm. home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> William. <laughs> You slap her with the divorce papers. You just, you put infidelity clause and you get more money out of the settlement. <laughs> oh my God, it's Morgan. Oh my God, he's describing Morgan. Okay, for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, we watched a Randy Feltface video where he talks about buying a bookshelf off of Gumtree. Okay, and there's a guy he describes named Morgan. <laughs> Who goes through this experience? His wife banged his best friend, man. It's a fucked up time. I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, that was a hypothetical. Oh no. You want an actual story? No, no. Oh no. Oh one. no. I'll give you one. Oh uh, no. I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour, and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So okay. I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning, I wake up. My foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up. My girl go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do okay. me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go, fuck yourself. Just say no. Okay, Dad, I know you're watching this. <laughs> and I know Mom does this. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why you watch Bill Burr. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Dad, do you watch him because he's relatable? <laughs> dad, <laughs> yeah, my dad has this habit. Dad, hi, love you. He has this habit where my mom will be saying a story that probably only needs about three to four sentences to tell. But my mom likes theatrics, okay? She likes getting into it. When she's telling you a story, she'll start pacing. She'll use her arms. She'll give attitude. She'll put dramatic pauses in. My mom gets a whole show when she's explaining a story. But she also will stretch it for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's a long time to have a story told to you where you don't say something back. <laughs> so my dad has this habit. When she just starts the story, not even far in, she maybe says 10 words. He'll instantly reflexively go after 35 years of marriage. He'll go get to the point. And I'm like, damn, dad, she just started talking. What is wrong with you? Listen to your wife. That's crazy. She just started saying the first sentence. And he goes, I don't have time for this. I got to go. I'm like, you're retired. You've got nothing but time. Where are you going? <laughs> Do you want to walk the dog? The dog can wait 10 minutes. Listen to your wife. <laughs> and he goes, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> and he's sitting there and he's pouting. And I'm like, you're fucking with me. I'm, I'm looking at this grown ass 66 year old man pouting because he's got to listen to his wife. Then my mom. I kid you not. She goes, well, now I just don't want to tell it anyways. I just, in, I just, I stood up for your ass. I just got him to agree 
and now you don't even want to do it no what i just and i just i'm looking at these two and i'm like well fuck it that's 35 years of marriage right there i don't know what else to tell you okay that's just 35 years of marriage and that's what it looks like all right <laughs> that is what it is <laughs> and that's it that's all you get and what does he do he goes all right then totally mm does not give a fuck. <laughs> All right then, cool. Grabs the dog and fucking heads out. Dad? <laughs> Hello? Ask your wife. No, honey, please tell me. I am sitting. No, none of that. It's been 35 years. He's past that. He just out the door. I turned to my mom. I'm like, do you want to tell me the story? I, I, can, I can hear this. I got time. I'll, I'll make a thumbnail later. I got, I got time. You want to tell me the story? And she goes, oh, really? Sure. And then she'll tell me the story. And I'm like, dad, I'm your wife's husband right now. Can you fucking listen to her? Because then I got to do this shit. And I am not taking one for the team every goddamn day. You are swapping rotations with me. I'm not taking it no more. Okay, you get the morning talk. I'll get the evening talk. But we got to find balance. Because I can't be spending an hour of my day for the half an hour morning story and the half an hour evening story about the wrap ups of work. Okay? You gotta pick one. <laughs> All right? Thank you. <laughs> oh. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> so now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Fuck, goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. <laughs> God damn. I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. Oh? I got a little childish. You know? Okay. I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> Okay, passive aggressive. Just trying to piss her off, and I gotta tell you something. Work like a charm. Yeah. Okay. Work like a charm. Okay. Yeah. Hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud. Not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening <laughs> to. Oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. Like, Whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, now, we're gonna talk about this right now. Comes out, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears, it fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone, I don't wanna talk about it. Put the headphones back on, she comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This oh, he gonna hit this bitch. <laughs> Chat? Chat? There's over a thousand of you in here probably, I'm not looking at the fucking numbers. Chat, he gonna hit this bitch. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put him on third time. She comes up, poof, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> dad don't you dare make that comparison with me right now i swear to god if you're watching this and you are making that comparison to me i do not come in yelling i come in nice you give me attitude and i match your attitude okay don't you don't, if you're looking at me over at me across the table right now while watching this video being like, ha ha, that's you. I've never laid hands on you unless it's a hug or a kiss on the forehead with your big bald ass head. I have not. <laughs> okay, so don't you go there. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He's got this saying that him and I will use in the most passive aggressive way possible. 
They'll say this stupid fucking phrase and it just triggers the other one when we get into a fight. My dad and I both say this line to each other because he originated it when we were kids. He would say, we'll talk about this when you learn how to speak properly. From that point on, whenever he escalates, I'll say that to him and you'll see him go, he'll like grit his teeth. Like he's like, oh, like he's ready to call me a bitch. Like he's ready. Like it's fucking at the tip of his tongue. But he's like, oh, <laughs> and then I walk away. Him, I'll say something. I'll flare up. He goes, and he'll, it's like he's waiting for the moment. It's like he's waiting because he's like, ooh. And he's thinking about the other week where I said it. And then boom, he hits me with the line. <laughs> And I'm there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, real mature, dad, real mature. And he's like, yeah, yeah, where's your maturity, huh? <laughs> we bicker like we're fucking in kindergarten, arguing over Dunkaroos. We have no class. We don't name call. We don't cuss each other out. We just do weird shit. <laughs> we're... No, you're the immature one. No, you are. That's what we say. We don't fight normal. <laughs> we are not a normal ass family. <laughs> Most families, they'd be like, you fucking bitch. You're so ungrateful. We don't go there. Because he knows. He knows I'm grateful. Right? I know he's grateful to have me. I'm a fantastic daughter. We can't go there. Right? We can't go there because we both respect each other too much. And we both value each other. So what else can we do? You're stinky. No, you're stinky. It has that energy. That's all you can fucking do in the situation. <laughs> oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. Major point. This is, this is ridiculous. Goddamn. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. Very, very. Thank you so much for pointing it out. Because I'm like, ah. Oh, <laughs> how about you don't hit your partner regardless of gender? How about we use our wordies and not our hurdies? <laughs> right? I'm just like, eeeh. <laughs> how about we don't hit our partner in general <laughs> regardless of gender? <laughs> Also, could you imagine me hitting my fiance? Do you know how Looney Tunes-esque that would look? I would have to buy a fucking trampoline. He's six foot five. I'm five foot four. How would God's- Kobe! Ugh. Jump up and smack the shit. How the fuck? How am I gonna hit- There's no- There's no option. Do you know how stupid I'm gonna look? Honey, hold the fuck up. I grab a three-step step ladder, I place it down in front of him, I take three steps up, and then I smack the shit out of him. At that point, it's de-escalated. By the time you walk to get the step ladder to smack him, it's already over. You're cooked. It's stupid. All right? <laughs> so there's no shot I'll ever hit my man. <laughs> Logistically, it's just too stupid to try. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Damn. <laughs> fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Okay, real shit, tell Answer him. Answer him. Answer him. <laughs> Damn. Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always, right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. <laughs> and I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. <laughs> 
fucking love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. That's fucking Holy it. shit. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Right? How did it happen? Did you uh, not see it? Were you fucking with it? Okay. Why did the snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Okay. Yeah. The firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag. Right? <laughs> Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize yeah, that. Okay. Okay, I appreciate that he's got he's got good understanding. <laughs> Self awareness is essential to make these jokes. Otherwise, you're just a fucking psycho. Which he might be. He might be just a psycho. But at least he's a funny one. <laughs> Let me extend an olive branch then. Okay, I realize that there's some animal guys out there. Okay. Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging. All right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison. Okay? Okay. W. Okay. So if I can admit okay. that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> Is every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. Okay, I need to, I, I think he needs to go fact check this one real quick. I don't think he knows. Uh, Chris, Chris Brown has actually beaten up women every single year since he beat Rihanna. Every single year, he beats up a new woman. That is fact. So, <laughs> just want to point out. <laughs> this was a while back. Okay, yeah, because this... Yeah, he really beats women. He, like, really beats women. It's not even like a... <laughs> it's not even like a little beat. It's like a... It's like he's getting paid to beat women. It's kind of crazy. Like he's beating women left and right. It's, his, it's some psycho shit. It's not good. Anyway, but also for Rihanna's case, did you see her face? Her eyes could not open. That shit was insane. Huh? In your heart of hearts. What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? I genuinely do think that though. <laughs> I genuinely think there was not a lot of shit going on because that motherfucker is unstable as hell. He is crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, just putting it out there. Just recontextualizing for current day understanding. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Oh, right? oh, 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 now, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years... To be fair, probably around the time that he recorded this, 
was the time everybody was making beat Rihanna jokes. People are making a lot of jokes back in the day when that first came out about Chris Brown beating the fuck out of people. So, to be fair, this was probably just around that time. Just saying. <laughs> Years of losing every significant battle in a relationship. I finally figured out how they argued. I'm going to tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And in there... I used to do this. <laughs> My fiance corrected this behavior so fucking out of me. It's insane. He sat me down and corrected that shit so hard that now when I'm wrong, I go, you know what? Fuck, I'm in too deep, but I am wrong. Sorry, honey. And I'll just admit it. And I will say in general, I will admit I'm in too deep and I'm wrong and I'm sorry. And he's like, good, that's all we need. And we'll just move on like a healthy fucking relationship because he taught me it's not a fucking argument you need to win. It's just a conversation. <laughs> and he taught me that. And I, I'm a little defensive, okay? I, I'm a little bit of a snooty booty, okay? <laughs> so for me, like, I, I couldn't handle, I don't want to lose the conversation until he taught me. What the fuck do you mean lose the conversation? It made me realize I'm a fucking psycho. And then he taught me how to communicate properly. Oop. <laughs> and now I have no problem if we're having a discussion. I'm in too deep and I'm dead fucking wrong. To just be like, to literally say I'm in too deep and I realize I'm wrong now. <laughs> and, he'll, and he won't, he won't like belabor it. And I'll do the same for him. If he does that. In too deep, got it, I'm wrong. And he acknowledges it. We don't even, I don't rub it in his face. He doesn't rub it in my face. We just go, okay, cool. We accept the reality and we move the fuck on. And this is the healthiest relationship I've ever been in in my entire fucking life. Because I did not know that you could communicate with people like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Since when? With my family? It's you argue for your life. It's a war. It's a war zone. Because if you waver, it's like the gaslight Olympics. Whoever gaslights the other one harder is the fucking prevailer. You have brought one up. If you make the other person cry, you broke them and you won. <laughs> and then I look at my loving relationship with one of the most calm men in the world. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm the crazy bitch. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Communication is possible. I didn't fucking know until him. I didn't realize how stupid and crazy I was until he taught me. <laughs> Jesus. In their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad. You just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple. Turn it down! Oh, Jesus. Turn it <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know where she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? <laughs> so if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, okay, yep. and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment, you've won the fight, okay? Okay, I'm going to tell you guys something really fucked up. Are you ready for this? Do you want to know how to battle somebody who does that to you? 
Dad, I've used this on you before. Are you ready, Dad? I know you're still watching. You know what? Sometimes you cross a line and you say something really fucked up. Instead of attacking you back, what I'll say is, do you really mean that? You think that's okay to say? Daggers. Daggers. That's so much worse. That's so much worse than me yelling back at you. Because <laughs> you realize, oh, fuck. I definitely went too far. <laughs> it's not about yelling at the person and saying something super fucked up about them. It's about them realizing you got to check yourself. <laughs> like, there's a certain way you talk to people. And if you cross the line, you got to realize words hurt. And they go hurt you back if you say hurtful words. That's true. What if they double down? Jesus, if someone says something fucked up, you tell them that and they go, yeah, you still a piece of shit. I'm... <laughs> Fuck, they just hate you. <laughs> like, okay, damn, they really meant that. Because sometimes it comes out of a place of anger, right? Some people say some shit out of a place of anger. They don't really mean it, but they they've escalated so far that they say something. Like they'll be like, you fucking bitch. Right? And I'm like, Dad, do you really mean that? <laughs> and he'll you'll see it in his face. You'll see him pause. And he goes, no. And you see him slowly start to, no, I didn't mean that. It's just, then he goes back to his point. It's just stupid because talks about the point again. And I'm like, right. But do we need to escalate it to that point? No. All right, then. It still ends up being about him calling me a bitch. <laughs> so it does still get redirected. <laughs> But not in a way where you attack. It's a way where you defend. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> You're such a mom, Alicia. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> I am popping out babies next year for damn sure. <laughs> all right, don't get mad. Bob and weaved, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you, you got a little dick. <laughs> Let that slide. Stay <laughs> in the pocket of the argument. Okay? It's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? <laughs> yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> ah, and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> you rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. <laughs> No, he did not just say that. No, no. Oh! <laughs> My daddy's going to watch this video. He did not say that at the end. Dad! <laughs> Worst part is my dad's going to be like, what? What? I'm 66 and I have three kids. You think I don't know what cum is? Oh! shrieking you can hear from fucking down the street <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> oh god well love you dad thanks for watching ah <laughs> i watched your favorite comedian yep yep We'll see you next time, YouTube. Thanks for your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.